North Country leaders have their eye on the annual G7 Summit hosted this year by our region's number one business partner. We're all saddened to see a policy by our government uh, that is frankly attacking uh, our friends and our family north of the border. Gary Douglas with the North Country Chamber of Commerce is talking about the tariffs which have led to a trade war between the U.S. and its allies like Canada. He says it's already having negative impacts on the more than 100 Canadian companies in our region like Novabus. It uses U.S. steel to make the shells for its buses in Canada which are then shipped south to the U.S. But since both countries have imposed tariffs on aluminum and steel, businesses like Novabus are hurting. How do you make a binational supply chain work when things are moving back and forth and now a situation has been created where both countries are slapping tariffs and, and threats and one another around these things. It's not good. And it's not good for dairy farmers either, since Canada has implemented tariffs on U.S. dairy products like yogurt. We would really encourage the administration to take a look at these trade agreements and make sure that farmers aren't being harmed because it does have such an impact on their day-to-day -day lives. Despite all this, Douglas says the North Country continues to have a positive, open relationship with its northern neighbor. As we continue to strategize and collaborate on messaging and how we can assist uh, in making, uh, in, in, in encouraging an, an outcome that gets us back from a trade war. And back to a mutually beneficial economic partnership. In Plattsburgh, Liz Strepa, NBC5 News.